Welcome back to Scary Animal Attacks. Today's episode takes us to the rubber tree plantations of the jungles of Indonesia, to Jambi province of the island of Sumatra. The rainforest canopy is so dense here that the sunlight rarely reaches the jungle floor in many places. Human development carves into ancient rainforests making room for rubber tree plantations and palm oil farms. This expansion of human agriculture create a rapidly escalating conflict in the only land in the world where tigers, rhinos, elephants, and orangutans live together. Some of the animal species here are diminutive versions of their counterparts on the mainland of Asia and are only found here on Sumatra. This island hosts 96 species of snakes, but the specific snake which is the focus of today's episode is the reticulated python. On Friday, October 21st of 2022, 54-year-old grandmother Jara said goodbye to her family and indicated she was going to pick rubber from rubber trees in a stand of jungle near her home. Many people here go by a single name and members of the villages form tight-knit communities that depend on each other. After grabbing her equipment, Jara headed out the door with her family, expecting to see her in a few hours. By nightfall, Jara's husband began to be very concerned. She still hadn't shown up, so he went out to look for her. In the rubber tree garden, he found her sandals, jacket, headscarf, and her knife she used to collect rubber. After being unable to locate his wife, he returned home and contacted authorities. After rounding up a search party to beat the brush for Jara, they group headed back to where her husband found her clothes and gear. As they searched around for additional clues, a short distance from where her husband found her clothes, a giant reticulated python with a foreboding-looking hourglass-shaped bump in its body was located amongst the tangled litter. The ominous realization began to set in that the lump in the snake's body just might be Jara's remains. A little information is in order to understand the peril that Jara found herself in. Reticulated pythons are the largest snake in all of Asia, yes, including Burmese pythons. When they constrict prey, they can exert 14 pounds of pressure per square inch, which is easily enough to kill a person. The largest example measured in at just under 10 meters in length and was caught in 1912. It likely weighed well over 400 pounds. As a python grows, it graduates from rats and other small prey to larger prey and have been witnessed swallowing goats. They have long, curved teeth which angle back toward the rear of their mouth that act as a one-way grip on its prey as it is swallowed. A single large meal may take the python weeks to digest, and for several days it may be unable to move until its meal is partially digested. The search part immediately turned into a recovery party bent on pulling her corpse from the ravenous reptile. As they searched the tangle of roots, leaves, and branches for the python's head, one of the volunteers lifted a forked stick to trap the snake. In the video posted on our Patreon account, which is linked below, he is shown pinning the head of the snake to the ground while a machete-armed assistant hacks it from its body. I've posted several pictures and a few video links pertaining to this episode on Patreon for your viewing if you choose, but I warn you, the images and videos there are extremely graphic. I do not recommend viewing them if you are not ready to see death as nature has no rating system. After striking the snake and severing its head, the villagers turned to investigating exactly what the big bump in its body was. They took out knives and began carving their way through the solid muscle body of the python, which was a little under three feet around. As they parted layer of tissue after another, they eventually reached the long and distended stomach. They cut open the stomach and the body of Jara, which had just began being digested, was pulled out. The worst possible outcome was now a certainty as her fate was apparent to every witness there. Being familiar with how reticulated pythons hunt, villagers described Jara's struggle in intricate detail. They indicated that the snake undoubtedly clamped its massive jaws onto her and immediately wrapped her in its muscular body several times over. Once it had completely encircled her body, she would be unable to resist its powerful contractions. Each time she would exhale, the python would have tightened its grip on her, further squeezing her air from her lungs. With each contraction, the python's death grip would rupture blood vessels and break bones. This process may have taken upwards of 30 minutes, depending on how hard she fought the snake for her life. 
Villagers who have witnessed similar attacks on goats state that the entire struggle may have taken around two hours to complete, including her being swallowed by the snake. There is no doubt her last minutes were terror-filled and extremely painful. Her body was recovered fully clothed and removed, along with the body of the python. This would be a comforting place to end the incident, but it isn't quite the end. The villagers had previously pursued a reticulated python which was even larger than the one who killed and ate Jara. It was about 27 feet long, and when villagers piled on it to take control of it, it overpowered several men. Fearing for their lives, they were forced to release their grip on the snake and let it retreat back into the rainforest. This snake is still out there and can easily kill and eat another person if it so desires. The villagers are concerned that there are larger snakes in the rainforest nearby. It is claimed that agricultural encroachment on their habitat has limited access to their typical prey, and now the giant snakes are hunting in the agricultural areas, around humans, turning them into potential prey. After reviewing the facts surrounding this episode, I'm left with a few questions for you. Do you think the reticulated pythons are beginning to target human prey, or have they been doing it for eons? Do you think that local agriculture is creating a situation where pythons will start being so familiar with people that incidents like this will increase? Is the cause for the recent uptick in human attacks by reticulated pythons due to loss of habitat and typical prey? Could you imagine a more terrifying way to die? I will enjoy reading your comments, so post them in the comments section below and let's talk about it.